Hi everyone, so I know I didn't announce in the group that I was going live. It's just something came up there in the last and I just thought I'd give you a few tips. Everyone, so I know I didn't announce in the group that I was going live. It's just and it's sorry about the sound problems there. It's also <clears throat> on the back of some of the things in the poll. Um somebody mentioned in the post a couple of people voted that they wanted to open up their cords and I just had a lesson there where I was doing that with, with the girl and we were taking things like a C and we were talking about the options within your chords. So now if you haven't got your majors and minors down yet, obviously you want to get that down because that's what we're basically talking about here. But down the line you would expand that into major sevens and minor sevens if you wanted a sort of a jazzy sound. But there are an awful lot of options underneath your fingers to really open them up. So there's one there, C. Right, what we could do with this is just remove the second finger and hammer it on. Right, so it's really simple. Or hammer on the first finger. You don't have to hammer it on, but you can just play it open. Or we could have an F chord. People, I class this as the easy F. We could just have. So you see my idea. So if we put this into context. and you can do the same thing with a minor although i don't really like the sound of this one that much but but it does work so there's piles of options the c chord the f chord the a minor chord all right you can do it in the song we were working on was actually uh because i teach a lot of kids and stuff they were work she was, the girl was working on Justin Bieber, Let Me Love You. And the guy had a riff in it. Where he was actually using a D minor. So without even learning loads of scales, which is another thing you can add on to this, there's there's quite a lot of options down here. Um I'm talking about the bottom end of the fretboard now, not up the fretboard, just down here with open chords if you want to add something to your your strumming. So you might see these if you're looking stuff up as A add nine, or sorry, add nine chords and sus chords. So if you'd like some more information on some of these without getting into too much theory on it, comment below and um, I'll get some stuff together and I can maybe even do a full training on it. It's just something that comes up because I know it can be quite boring for after a while playing majors and minors and you know, you get a bit fed up with the same chords all the time, or if you want to dress them up, as I would say. Whatever it is you want to do with it. Uh, I did up just upload um, a recent YouTube video this week, like a sort of a fast bluegrass thing. I'll just play a bit of it if I can remember. It's sort of along the lines of this. It's that kind of thing, right, really fast, but it's taking those ideas in, breaking the chords up, adding in the G major scale, the C major scale, and the D major scale. So when you have that knowledge, even those three, uh, it was a piece that I wrote years ago for a, um, a course I was doing in multimedia. And it was, I just wrote the music for it and I wanted this fast country thing. It was like a wee short film. Um, but it was really fun to play. So that's a video that I just put up on YouTube. Uh, there's some riffs on there too out of it. Um, so down the line, if you want to get into that kind of thing, let me know as well. But if you want a bit more information on the kind of thing I'm talking about here, maybe we could have a chat and see how you could get your plan to the point where you can add those kind of things in. Just comment below the video. I'll give you a shout on Facebook Messenger and we're going to have a chat and see where your plan is now and take things from there. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. I hope you find that useful. Uh, some training coming up soon. There might be some training live on YouTube soon. So I'm following the poll as everybody's vote, a lot of people are voting on. Thanks very much for that. And um, some more training coming up soon based on the biggest issues everybody's having right now with their plan. 
All right. Thanks. See you again.